I think the ideal patient interaction uh, is a fully engaged interaction. Maybe the easiest way to describe uh, that is by the example of what's not a good interaction. And that, I think, is where you know, the doctor doesn't really uh, spend the time to understand the patient and just says, do this, this, and this, um, and that's the end of it. So it needs to be a dialogue. Um, so from my standpoint, you know, my job is to help people understand the choices in front of them. Um, so what are the implications of a high blood sugar? What are the risks? Um, what are the benefits of achieving certain goals? What are those goals? And, and what are the, the benefits correlated with those goals? And then what are the various ways that one can try to achieve those goals? And then, you know, I think the patient really with that information ought to be one that makes the, the decision for him or herself. You know, some may say, may hear all the options, say, look, you know, I've been trying to exercise and diet for 10 years. You know, this is motivating, but I'm not going to get anywhere. I'd like to start with medication. And I think that's reasonable if, you know, if they, they know themselves better than I know them. Um, and it, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to, you know, unless it's a, a bad decision to talk them into one versus the other.